Police express regret for stopping anti-monarchists protesting at the coronation. The Met has been criticised for tactics used and been threatened with legal action after protesters were arrested but released to face no further action. I suspect they also realised that they badly handled it from a legal point of view and a policing point of view and they simply didn't have uh, a case to pursue. Also tonight, King Charles and Queen Camilla thank the public for their support throughout celebrations as Prince Louis carries out his first official engagement. This is ITV News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good evening. The Metropolitan Police has tonight expressed regret for the arrest of six anti-monarchy protesters ahead of the coronation. The demonstrators from the campaign group Republic have rejected the apology and intend to take legal action. Our political correspondent Carl Dinn joins us now. And Carl, this is a pretty speedy turnaround from the police, isn't it? Yes, just over an hour ago, they put out this fairly remarkable statement expressing regret over the arrests of the six activists who'd only been picked up on Saturday morning and have now been released without charge. Tonight, the police said that the arresting officers had not, in fact, known that the group had been liaising with the police about their protest and that the officers had suspected some luggage straps the group had could have been used to lock on as a protest. The police statement went on, those arrested stated the items would be used to secure their placards and the investigation has been unable to prove intent to use them to lock on and disrupt the event. We regret that those six people arrested were unable to join the wider group of protesters in Trafalgar Square and elsewhere on the procession route. But the head of Republic, who was one of the six arrested, says the speed with which the police have dropped the whole thing has betrayed the weakness of their case from the start. Extraordinarily quick decision. And I think that they clearly realised, both from our response and from the public reaction, that they had badly judged this. And I suspect they also realised that they had badly handled it from a legal point of view and a policing point of view, and they simply didn't have uh, a case to pursue. Uh, but Carl, earlier today, the Prime Minister supported the police, didn't he? Y yeah, that's right. Uh, Rishi Sunak was full of praise for the police when asked about this earlier today. Well, the, the police are operationally independent of government. They'll make these decisions based on what they think is best. And actually, I'm grateful to the police and everyone who played a part in ensuring that this weekend has gone so well, so successfully and so safely. That was an extraordinary effort by so many people. And I'm grateful to them for all their hard work. Yet despite all of that, the Metropolitan Police now find themselves accused of preventing a lawful protest and facing legal action. Mm, all right, Carl, thank you. Well, meanwhile, King Charles has thanked the nation after a weekend of coronation celebrations. He said the support was the greatest coronation gift of all. Today, the king invited the country to support local causes and create a legacy of volunteering. Well, thousands of people did just that, including some of the youngest members of the royal family, as Geraint Vincent reports. The coronation weekend came to a close with the release of the official photographs taken to mark the crowning of King Charles and Queen Camilla. The king pictured here in the throne room with orb and scepter at Buckingham Palace. But the special bank holiday was more about getting stuck in than posing. And one of the king's grandsons was in the box seat. <laughs> After a dicey start, Prince Louis and his dad eventually got the hang of the digger, all part of the volunteering campaign, the big help out. The task at hand in Slough was the renovation of a scout hut. Prince George was drilling holes in some timber and Princess Charlotte was varnishing some doors. The Wales is all devoting some free time to a worthy cause. Well done, Louis. To have had the support of the Prince and Princess of Wales and the rest of the family as well just goes to show that as a family you can get involved in volunteering, that it's fun, that you can learn things and you feel good about it as well. And with the hard work done, there was time for some archery. Oh. Marshmallows and of course a photo. Oge, oge, oge. Oi, oi, oi. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, meanwhile, were helping out at a training centre for guide dogs. All this on the morning after the night before. And a 
star-studded coronation concert at Windsor Castle. After the ceremony and the party, the coronation is completed by the big help out and an attempt to make volunteering a real feature of the new Carolean age.